Blood Squad can out-rotate KBG and get fights on their terms before KBG can really regroup around the penalty zone, around the nether realm. They can definitely take this game and run with it. Well, before we head into the match, I think that I will lean towards Team KBG's draft because I think they have a really good team fight. There's nothing to stop them from just like going in and sleeping into the back lines, having that firmness. And on the, team, on the side of Team Umbrella Squad, I think they have to take like solo pick off uh, heroes like they have to take them one by one whether it's one by one whether it's full 5v5s at the end of this let's see currently at match point it's going to be the umbrella squad really good points here in the early stages of this game it's going to be really important for umbrella squad to really sit and protect their laners as much as they can until they hit that mid game key best gaming on the other hand if they want to start getting aggressive they're going to need to hit their level fours too but in the meantime these level ones it's all about the information looking at the battle spells as well you can see the purifies for lumu on the faramis that's definitely the way to go in the mid lane, it's going to be dangerous, especially against this Kaja right here. Wait. If he gets... If Is I that a Kaja with a blue buff? That was a Kaja with a blue buff, right? Oh, he stole it. <laughs> Angor <laughs> actually gets the pick off. It seems oh. like he's very adept on that Kaja, which is dangerous, right? Because of the suppression, that is, a, a, you know, a very dangerous tool, especially against a Faramis. If he, if Lumu oversteps, he can get picked off and no nether realm for his team can mean a fatal mistake. Did he really take that risk? Did Simba take that high risk to lose his own buffs in the early game? Losing a buff to Akaja, that should like take a lot of work. It does, oh. but now Marl is getting right on top Whoa. of Tai. It's no way to get out. Vanguard slows him down, and now Lumo <sighs> is on the run. Simba can only do so much, but he's not level 4, so no access to the electrifying beats. He got under the skin of Firemus. He actually used that Purify so fast. He uses it very early, just in case something gets thrown out at him. But the early game damage potential, I think Keep Best Gaming were just really underestimating it. Uh, Tides on the troll, you're very mobile, very survivable as well with the shielding and the Jeet Kune Do's, but you, you, can't, you can't just walk up like that against an assassin and against a, a Novaria who has deceptively high damage in the beginning of the game due to the nature of the spells, right? The, the farther you go on the Astro Recall, the, the harder that Astro Sphere hits. Well, I think that they need to work on that Bruno back because Bruno at a certain point is a snowball himself. So whenever, and he already, like, he have a ball. So anyways, whenever there's a Bruno, I always expect to see some turret pushing, see some, like, services being given to him and a lot of resources. But maybe one of them is the team fight. Yep, Final Slash is already going to find two. Simba is completely outside of wow. that turtle pit. Castle able to pick out. Oh, wait, he oh, flickers wait. back in to try once oh, more. Oh. Final Slash again and manages to even get out the nether realm simba still gets to live troublemaker unable to connect with the flame shot now Wait. suppressed bangor has done a great job to set up tides as a meal for his boy marl i was about to say no casualties so far it's just a turtle but there's a kill there's definitely a kill right there. And for Umbrella Squad, right now, wow. you have to you be a bit more concerned with how they can actually find these pickoffs, man. They keep going in and they're abusing the castle uh, early hour damage. And for Keep as Gaming, because they can't really deal with this right now, they have a lot of mobility, and it seems like from the ambulance, that is what they're trying to center on. But the damage and the penetration coming in from both Ma and Troublemaker with the Assassin Emblem, that is what they are abusing. And maybe Keep Ice Gaming can try and go for multiple members in the team fights to ensure that one guy can get picked off, but the rest can still pull the fight back. Well, protecting the king while the king is Bruno himself, I would say that Team Umbrella Squad are doing really, really, really good. And oh, what is that? Simba! Simba just went in the jungle, but he didn't get that blue buff. That was, that was crazy. It was insane, man. I think Simba can definitely go for even more right here, depending on the situation. But, man, I think Simba is just really limited by the other crowd control available, and of course by the threat of that Divine Judgment. If Angor can get a big pick right here, that could be the end of the whole early game for Key Pass Gaming. Yeah, ooh, ooh fine. Just steal it. 
dude, these kills are starting to get, really starting to pile on for the side of the Umbrella Squad. But for as long as they do this, God Yang is now in a lot of trouble. He's looking for Brody. I mean, they might try. He flickers out super early to do so. He gets hit by the skill shot. And now Mara has a wave to work with. Even oh! protecting it. Farman saves the life of God Yang. And Mara, so little oh! left. Gets a good kick coming in from Tides. And Fangor on the run. This should be a kill coming in for Simba or Lumu. Either or will be great. What? But they're going to use the electrifying beams to secure it anyways, Black Marsh. Everyone go just back. stay away oh. from zero HP. What's that? He's flickering in hard. And he's flickering in fast. No point scrounging away these kills. Just back and forth fights again and again. What is going on right here? Umbrella Squad is getting the better of the situation. Because Fangor is just taking away so much attention. Once Castle arrives right there, it's almost like game over, right? There's no damage left to try and output, to try and take out an Arlen with the bravest, uh, with the brave smite. For Umbrella Squad, that's a great move, and now they have full control over the turtle. And despite the best efforts of Keep Best Gaming, it's going to be so difficult for them to even get vision to try and contest. I think that Bruno is getting so like really, really, really amazing footwork there. He's just getting to it. He's getting minions. He's getting jungle. He's getting everything he ever wanted. And Team Umbrella Squad might just take that turtle fight. Yes, they've already got the way of the dragon. They've kicked him far, but now it's two versus four. The final slash seems good, but Castle he keeps on going in. He's holding oh. it all single. Handedly, as the turtle is already gone, Simba finally takes out Castle, but this opens up an opportunity. Marl finds God Yang, despite everything that has happened. That's a crazy one for one, despite everything. It's still the goal that will take another for Keep Us Gaming. God Yang getting taken out means a later a delay in their mid to late game potential. For now, Umbrella Squad are trying to siege, but they're unable to get a lot of these turrets. That's why they're going for all these oh. dives. What? They what find the, I mean, they find the way of the dragon almost immediately, but they're not really able to capitalize on Marl's purposely just taking the damage. The thorn rolls, it does hurt, but Tides still alive. Do they have the flame shot? No, they do not have the flame shot, and that's going to be mid tier one collapsing. Yeah, it was mid tier one collapsing, and everything is collapsing for the side of Team KBG. But not that kill. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Seems like that kill wasn't collapsing. Yep, it wasn't collapsing. It's kind of ironic to see Troublemaker <laughs> in a situation where he's not getting as many kills as you would like him to see, but at the very least, he's finally gotten a death. It's important to find these kills in these situations because especially for Keep Best Gaming, they need to start scaling up and they need to start scaling up fast. I think Troublemaker is just showing great flexibility. Look at Castle, man, just baiting things out. Fangor's coming All in, right. but it's 2v4. All right. Finds the way of the Dragon once again. Penalty zone to try and disengage. And another realm, it seems good. But at the end of the day, it's still Castle who ends up dying. The Astrakos is going to open things up. Marl! It's up straight Marl! into the back line. God Yang finds one. Luma, second to fall. That's a double. Does he make it a triple? See you flickers on out of there. Marl's not going to let him go he so easily. going in. But Fangor just making sure Nobody else gets to interrupt, holding away from Ma, just in case. What a perfect execution coming in from Marl. Simba trying to find a train, doesn't even get it with the electrifying beats. Marl, 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 what a magnificent, incredible gameplay. It's insane, Marl just lifting his team up 7-0 and 1, and he's not done just yet. He's going to the solo, the turtle even. It's only eight minutes in, but there's so much action going on. And I must say, it really v benefits Umbrella Squad with their aggressive early game composition. Despite having Simba, a great assassin, on the joy, keep us gaming. They're just struggling to really find the backline targets. They can't get past the Fangor and mm. Castle, the frontliners of Umbrella Squad. Yeah, for me, Maul, man. Maul, Maul, Maul. He was born to be assassin. He was meant to be assassin. Mm -hmm. He wants it and he wants it bad. Oh, the final slash doesn't get tight, but it doesn't matter. They still are able to pick him up at the end of the day. Lightning Truncheon already purchased by Troublemaker. That's going to give him some important damage here. As you can see, the temp HP, 90% of it instantly gone. Yeah, Team KBG at this point are panicking, panicking by the hands of Team Umbrella. There's no mercy. That's the last thing they have to try and do right here. They have to try and calm down and try and find an opportunity. But here's an MC respect here, Yasu. Mm, an M-Series fact, one and done. Before Umbrella Squads, okay, a one victory versus KBG. The last time game in the M-Series itself ended under eight minutes was Black Lest 
one against MVG in, in M3 with 9.55. So it was so near, we were about to hit a record there. Almost three seconds off, but let's see how this next couple of seconds are going to actually go. Because Umbrella Squad, 6k lead, and they're taking every single one of these outer turrets for free. And it looks like they might even threaten an inhibitor here. Unless what? they what? have something to zone for minions? I mean, okay, it's not like they have an important objective to fight over other than lore in like 25 seconds. Well, if you want to do it, you can do it. You are the player, right? Yep, fair enough, fair <laughs> enough. But so far, it has been quite a struggle. And now we see Simba once again. Electrifying Beast is trying to secure. Oh. Final slash. He's got, he knows. He's got no more dashes. No more beats to play. An easy pickup for the Umbrella Squad. But it's not over yet. Mara, whoa! Nicely done with the Thorn Rose. Dodging literally everything coming in for the side of it, Keep Best Gaming. It wasn't just about that final slash. It was about that final touch from Troublemaker. Coming from far behind with a sniper. With a sniper, Flame Shot managed to just take take the life of Simba. Oh, oh. Whoa, what was that? The flicker kick coming in, and they've already tried their best oh, times oh. after everything he's Mar done. Was able to finally set up a kill and oh. kick at Castle. Oh. Marl might be the next to fall. God Yang finally has enough damage after the Malefic Roar purchase, and even going into Simba. the winds of nature, allowing Simba to jump into that back line. Troublemaker very, very low. Luckily, using his ult to confirm his suspicions about where everybody else was. That's a very big blunder coming in from Umbrella Squad. Getting the shot down and giving it to God Yang of all people. Not the ideal result of a base attack, but now with the Lord coming in, they can try and make something happen. But this is the problem when you have a Kaja. For the most part, your approach is very one-dimensional. You're gonna wait for the Lord to get close. You're gonna wait for KPS Gaming to be forced to try and walk up and defend against this Lord, and you're gonna go for a pickoff. That's generally how it goes, it's gonna go. And with the Novaria, they can definitely do a lot of damage. If you look at the items, only a Lightning Truncheon though. He might be going for a Glowing one next, knowing that there's a big issue in them trying to secure the kills onto CU and Tides. Yeah, Bruno so Whoa. far, wow. Well, I was just about to take about the damage. Mm -hmm. Flicker final slash it all towards CU to push him away. Black March is going to be able to pick up that kill at the same time. Mm. Good, perfect execution here. There should be an inhibitor take for the side of the Umbrella Squad. I don't see a lot of answers for Key Best Gaming to maintain against this type of a pressure. Finish? It could be a finish. The Lord is cracking down on the inhibitor from the bottom side, and now they slowly move up. Top inhibitor is next to fall. Tides looking for an opportunity, but Marl isn't going to give it to him just yet. I think the Umbrella Squad should start back it off soon, but Castle oh. has something else to say. He gets kicked away, canceling his final oh. slash, almost connecting onto a four. Good Ast uh, Astral Recall coming in from Troublemaker, and now Castle all by himself. No disengage, forced to go back in uh, again! Hey, he wow. finally hey. gets the final slash off the God Gang! Winds of Nature is going to keep him alive, but it's too late! The Black March is here! Wow, oh my god, man, oh my god, what was that damage? I'm telling you, since the beginning, watch that Bruno, watch that footwork. He's just working out through the whole game, getting so fed. Only one member down though for Keep Best Gaming. It's a 3v4, but oh. Umbrella Squad, they're not backing up. Frangler might be looking for another pickoff. But Black March's damage, man, that is insane. Especially against Lumu. Two hits, I think, took him down below half HP. Fortunately for Keep Best Gaming, they're able to stave off the aggression and they're gonna live to fight another time. At 30 minutes though, Umbrella Squad. Now they're kind of feeling the heat. The late game ain't bad, man, with a Bruno and a Novaria, but the Arlud and the Lancelot do, does fall off a bit, and the Nether Realm becomes even more important the longer the game goes on. I see a conceal there. I see a conceal there. What are they, are they planning to do? Not quite much, just changing position, right? I yeah, mean, I think it's just changing a position. You yeah. don't want to flex their like you know legs and stuff. Oh, base? You know, they, they got stretched out a little bit. Uh, their base <laughs> will eventually. They're they are going to have to base eventually. They've got no inhibitor tyrants. Three mm -hmm. pushing waves. I feel like Umbrella Squad. They they've basically got the nuts at this point, right? It's yeah. very difficult to lose from this position. No mercy, no mercy whatsoever. Well, they can have the intel advantage. They can have the pickup advantage as well. Keep us gaming. They just have to get the right person, right? If they cheat one for one with another one as well, they need to get towards the backline, towards Black March, maybe. Ooh. Oh, they pull oh. CU, but oh. now here comes the promise of 
protect everybody. Jumping on in with the penalty zone, catches them all. Marl's able to take out CU, but Black March had to go as a trade, a one for one trade. Not very worth it. Not very worth it for the Umbrella squad, but now evens up with the help of a Lord take. An enhanced Lord there was brought to you by Kadia and will be brought to you by Umbrella squad in the mid lane, and they might just finish what they, start, what they started because Umbrella squad so far has been in charge of every single movement in the game. But there's, there's a bit of a weakness here that is spotted, man. Keep us gaming. The fact that they're able to get Black March in that fight is, a, is great for them, gold mm -hmm. swing-wise. It's also good for them in planning out their next fight. Oh, Simba! Oh, Simba almost is taken out. But if they can trade him for Black okay. March, perhaps in a fight, they can win. Oh, oh, Tides just couldn't get the angle from the way of the dragon. He knew it, so he didn't even bother clicking it. He's holding on to his ult, but he gets oh. hold on back with the final slash and castle. It's unrelenting. See, you now have to disengage the rest of his team, but the same problem occurs. He has no means of escape. Marl Defense. is going to take him out first, but now with the Lord at their base, with Lord empowered minions marching right up to their front door, KBG is hoping that Umbrella Squad make a mistake. They are just holding them inside that base behind that Crystal team. KBG have nothing to do but to defense. Up oh. flickers and finds the Divine Judgment into the perfect execution, into the final slash, and Black March gets the free hit for uh, days. KBG is done. going to be dropping this. Umbrella Squad take the game 2-0. An insane conflict.